Hello Gundam fans, this is Prime92, and today I'll be looking at the 1-100 Master Grade Rizel Type-C Defensor A and B unit from the Gundam Unicorn OVA series. Now, this is its mobile armor mode, and it's a pretty big mobile armor mode, very bulky. And this is the uh, Defensor A unit. Basically, missiles up the wazoo. Now, I'm not going to show them off yet, because it'll be easier in mobile suit mode. But just taking a look at this thing, it is friggin' big and bulky. Now you can, if if it's possible, if you can um, manage it, you can put this on an action base. It comes with a connector here. And basically, the beam rifle right here, little teeny pegs, and there's grooves right, these little grooves right in here. And so you basically push it on and slide it back, and it locks it pretty good on the beam rifle. So you can put this on an action base. Which would be pretty impressive, I have to say, especially with all these doors opened up launching missiles. So yeah, everything else is basically the same that you come to expect from the Rizal. And I'm going to show the Defensor B unit because it does obviously change the look of it in this mode. It's not the easiest thing to do, gotta say, but I, at least on camera. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try, and if I fail, I'm sorry. But, first things first, gotta get rid of these side pieces. They're pegged into the backpack, right there, two pegs. So these, we're not actually gonna get rid of them, like the whole thing. Uh, essentially what we're gonna do is pull this missile rack, off. <clears throat> like that. Alright. And then we're going to pull out this piece. And you do get little covers to replace the uh, gap, or to fill in the gap. Right, like that. And then you bring in these. Those like thruster pieces, and you just slide it into that gap and take it in. So it looks... A little, and this is actually the configuration for the uh, high grade. So that is the uh, B unit. Alright, so we got that. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. I'll just do it off camera. Now, before I peg the um, backpack back on here, you have to remove these pieces here on the side. And they actually have some clear uh, yellow pieces on them. Kind of nice. But you're going to replace these beige ones with the gray ones here. And these will line up with holes in the, uh, I guess is the nose cone? Like that. And like that. And this will allow you to attach the beam cannons, just like the uh, high grade has. And basically the way these are supposed to go, in this mode, you little peg, hole, like that. And then you're supposed to peg it like that. So that <clears throat> that clip goes into this hole, like that. And that's why it's supposed to be for mobile armor mode. So you peg it in like that. Uh, this one's already done. So peg it in. And now, I can finally reattach the uh, wings. And it just works the same way, you just peg them in. Actually, before I do that, you can extend these holders like that. Alright. Uh, let's see if I can... Okay, maybe I guess I should do this first. Whatever. Why well, you know peg in? There. But I think this will just help because it will allow the guns at least a little more resting area. I mean, I guess you don't have to do it like that. I just think it looks better with a wider wingspan. That's just me. But I don't think compract, um, compracting it, compressing it will really 
heard it too much in terms of look. I just like it more myself. There. Alright. So, ah. Okay, now I just gotta fiddle around with some things, and... That. Whoa. Well, it got even bigger. Holy crap. First time I've done this, actually, with this mode. But that is the... Holy balls. That is the... Rizal Type C Defensor B unit. Wowzers. That is pretty impressive, I gotta say. Two huge beam cannons. Nice wings. Yeah, I really like this. But I still think I like the missiles more. But the, and actually, for this mode, I like this. For mobile suit mode, I like the missiles. Speaking of mobile suit mode, we gotta transform this guy. And I'm, once again, going to apologize in advance if I totally make this look terrible. It is not easy. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cheat. And I'm gonna pull out these back pieces again. Just because it's gonna be easier. For me, and for you guys watching. And I'm gonna unpeg the guns, too. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna unpeg the whole thing. Yeah, it's a little hook. <clears throat> right there. Pretty easy. Alright, now that we got this guy pretty much disassembled, we can take off the, uh, the uh, shield and beam rifle. Just peg them to the bottom here, just like the uh, other result. And now we can get to transforming. So, legs come down, the feet extend, and toes flip out, and then let's do the other one. So, extend, um, keep the heel on, flip out the foot, and now you got some kind of weird, I don't know what this is, <clears throat> but what we have to do Come in here, and get the arms out, and to the side, like that. I know it looks like kind of a mess, but it will come together, uh, just like the original. It's all, it's the same as the original, if you have it, but there's ball joints back here, and it pegs, the front here pegs right down here, so you just have to push it in. It doesn't really do a solid snap, but it still seems to hold. And then you have to raise. This is interesting. You have to kind of raise. Probably should have done this before. But this joint for the side skirt, you raise it up and you want to rotate it around so you can actually bend it down like that against the leg. Probably should do that before uh, bringing the legs in. Actually, let's try it over here. So bring that joint up. And rotate it. And bring it down. Yeah, that was a lot easier. Alright, and then just peg this like that. And then bring these down. And then you can just push the back skirt in and up. And kind of, it's supposed to lock. Never really had it locked out. There we go. You gotta push it really hard. You gotta force it. Alright, and now, you just have to separate the stomach, like that, keeping the arms out, bring the torso down, and right before you push all the way down, push the head up, oh, it's on a sliding joint, and then push this down, it'll kind of snap into place, more or less, and then just have to Get the arms. Um, hold on a second. Uh, there, wait. Uh, uh, that, there we go. Yeah, they're really uh, interesting <laughs> joints, holy crap. There's a lot of joints in here, but you gotta fold it into the torso. Come on. There we go. I don't know how I did that. But just fold it in. Alright. Now, in the instructions, it tells you to remove the arms, or not the, the arms, the hands. I don't like that because in the, even in the high grade, it shows the hands still attached. So I like the uh, I like the hands on there. I think it does, anyways. 
But I like the hands, like, complete on a mobile suit in both modes. So that's the main body. Now we just have to reattach all the other stuff. So, just uh, a little easier in this mode to peg these in. Like that. And like that. And then get the back piece and just connect that right there. And then I'm going to disconnect the cannons that were that pegged in at the top so you can come over the shoulder. And that... Okay, maybe I should just put them back. Yeah, I'm going to put these back. These cannons are huge. I'll just let them hang back. Do your cannons hang though? Do they wobble to and fro? And that is, oh man, that is the Rizel Type-C Defensor B unit in mobile suit mode. And it is a biggie. It is really big. Let me just zoom back here. Look at that! Now you could maneuver the cannons further down behind him so it wouldn't be so high up. But that was kind of cool. I get a Macross vibe. Sort of. That thing, this thing has a great silhouette. I love it. Now, obviously, the back pieces are new compared to the original. Um, the nose section here, the middle piece is, I'm pretty sure, the same, but the side pieces are different, those little gray pieces. And the side skirts are different um, compared to the old one. They, they, you actually get the old side skirts if you want to use them, I guess. They're not nearly as big, there's no thrusters. They're just plain, long uh, side skirts. Let's see if I can get him around. He he is leaning forward a bit, but you know what? That's pretty good considering all this junk on his back. He whoa. He does uh he does stand relatively well. Let me just change the focus again. <clears throat> so you do get some stickers, of course. Um, basically, all the uh, yellow. All the nice clear yellow on the uh, shoulders, on the chest, on the eyes. Well, actually not the eyes, but the forehead. It came with uh, silver stickers to go underneath. Although, no, the uh, the cameras on the head were yellow, and I didn't use them, because the, the clear yellow looks really nice. I don't see a reason to put a sticker over top of it. Although you do get the uh, standard, the uh, rub, the rub transfers, and the normal peel-off decals. So you get that. Now, another thing I want to mention now, I, I could say this for accessories, but I'm going to show it now because it does come in handy, especially in this mode. You get this. Now, if anybody has, has a real grade justice, this might look a little familiar. It's basically a support for the back. So you just take it, fit it around the back skirt right here. Just goes smoothly in the center. And it acts as a third leg. So now, he stands. See, he's kind of spread apart, but he's not fallen over. So that is a great idea. I am so glad Bandai thought of that. For these mobile suits with ginormous backpacks, this is really a must. Although I have had him stand without a problem without that. Um, mostly in the A-unit configuration. But this thing, it's still as solid as it was before. I still find the transformation a little finicky, not nearly as bad as like the Delta Plus. But it's, it's mostly the legs, although this guy was a little easier. He wasn't as loose, so mileage may vary. I just love this thing in both modes and both configurations. looks really great. So in the next part, because this took really long, and I was afraid it would, I'll get over the articulation, all the accessories, the different configuration, um, uh, unit A configuration. And uh, that's about it, so I'll see you at the next review.